This was a great idea, Supandi. I've always wanted to go skydiving, you know. The idea of soaring through the sky sounds so liberating. <laughs> yes, yes, great idea. Feeling nervous, Supandi? Why do you ask, Professor? Oh, well, for one, your knees are making more noise than the plane's engine. Don't worry, Supandi. You'll be jumping with trained professionals. It's just like investing in mutual funds. Eh? A mutual funds? What do you mean, Professor? Well, in both cases, you'd much rather do it with professionals, right? The risk involved in investing in the stock market by yourself is much higher. That said, there is an age-old mantra when it comes to investing. The greater the risk, the greater the reward. Your safest investment options are traditional savings instruments, government bonds and fixed deposits. The risk is low, but the returns are also relatively low. On the other hand, if you invest in the market directly, your rewards can be much higher. However, so will your risk, as you need to be well versed in share trading, keeping up with the latest trends and so on. Like I said earlier, when you invest in mutual funds, you're dealing with professionals. A mutual fund allows you to get a slice of various asset classes, such as equity and debt, among others. These asset classes can serve as a good asset allocation tool that will help you balance your risks and maximize your returns. So the key to investing wisely is not eliminating risk, but garnering the ability to manage it. And that's why I said investing in mutual funds is just like going skydiving. Imagine trying to skydive without a trained instructor or proper equipment. <sighs> when you put it like that, Professor, it doesn't sound so scary. Oh, that's good to hear, Supandi. Because you're up next. What? Wait! Professor! <laughs> oh, Supandi! Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.